Hello, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Welcome to Cosmic Energies by Kushpu. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing amazing. Today we are going to do a combination videos, but don't worry. I'm going to do each sign separately. You'll get the timestamps in the description below. But doing water signs uh, together is so much fun. Uh, let's start with the Scorpio sign. Uh, please note that this is a general reading. So whatever I say here, is going to resonate with you or not resonate with you so whatever resonates please take that and whatever doesn't please let go of it okay so let's take your first message Scorpio let's see for the month of May what is your first message your first message says earth guide such a beautiful message my dear Scorpios let's see what it talks about your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved. So in the month of May, you are being told that as the lunar eclipse will happen on the 5th of May, uh, after that things will start to change, you'll find your love, uh, life purpose, uh, why you have been put on this earth. So many of my Scorpios will be going through a spiritual awakening during this eclipse season. And once you go through that deep transformation, Many changes are going to take place in your life and you're being told that you are a guide on this earth and your calling is to feel love deeply than anyone else and give love as deeply as you feel. So your May month is going to be full of love. Your relationships will be highlighted. Uh, Interpersonal relationships, relationships with your parents, uh, your partners will be highlighted in the May of month post your lunar eclipse. And many of you might also have gone through an intense change in the way of thinking and of looking at things or at uh, your way of, you know, um, what do you say? Your way of processing the ideas might also have changed during this eclipse season. Okay, Scorpios, let's see what is your <clears throat> crystal for the month of May. What is the crystal for the month of May? Okay, your crystal is Dalmatian Jasper. We have Dalmatian Jasper for the ener as the energy for the month of May. Such a beautiful crystal. Let's see what it talks about. Are you having issues with loyalty? Are you building relationships with trustworthy and reliable people? Are you having issues with being faithful? So the Dalmatian Jasper is trying to ask you Scorpios, are you having problems with loyalty? Are you facing problems with trust? Are you trusting people enough? Are you not trusting them? Are you uh, letting go of your grudges? This is what your crystal is trying to ask you and trying to make you aware of in the month of May and if you have been feeling that post lunar eclipse uh, post 5th 6th May if you start feeling that your crystal is trying to take uh, tell you that you have to take a look at your own level of fidelity and dependability make a pledge to be loyal to yourself and others so uh, you might actually feel that insecurity because on a personal level you yourself are not that secure uh, sometimes we tend to project our own fears because of our own actions on other people or the people we are in a relationship with so dalmatian jasper is trying to ask you are you doing that are you the one who is not being fully present in the relationship and that is why you think that your partner is also doing that so, so stop projecting and if you start projecting in the month of may please take a step back and look at it in a different manner look at it uh, with your own <clears throat> look within yourself and if you find that things then start working on it and once you become loyal to yourself you'll also become loyal to others okay so let's see what is your next message my dear scorpios what is the next message for my dear Scorpios? We have fifth dimension as your message. Wow. Such a spiritual month it is going to be for my dear Scorpios. May is going to have you go through very deep transformation it seems. So 
your message is if you draw this card scorpio your guidance is to ask yourself how would you like to be treated and act towards others accordingly as we looked with dalmatian jasper the same message is continued with the fifth dimension your card is trying to tell you if you're hoping things from other people if you're hoping other people treat you in a certain manner they give you a certain level of fidelity they give you a certain level of love care understanding then you also have to know that you also have to treat them in that particular manner it is a two way street it doesn't happen one way whatever you are expecting out of other people you should also be ready to give it to other people okay and if you are um uh, thinking that the other people should understand your reasons if the other people uh, if other people should be okay with the way you're behaving you have to put yourself in their shoe and think that will you be okay if the other person behaves exactly the way you are behaving with them okay so in may there might be you know times that occur in which you might not be ready to give other person a valid reason if they have been asking you for clarity and you ha- you are unable to give clarity but you are hoping that the other person will still be present be loyal be uh, okay with the way you are behaving then you should also be okay put yourself in their shoe and think that would you be okay in this situation will you be okay to just be left hanging without clarity beautiful messages are coming out wow let's see what is the next message for my scorpios for the may, may, uh, month of may what is the next message for my dear scorpios for the month of may we have let go wow so your message let's see what it talks about Once you let go of the outcome you will be able to release all of the emotional constraints that you have that have held you back in the past trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only our best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you So Scorpios you're being told that you have been trying to control the output of your life you have been trying to control the actions of other people you have been trying to control the nature of your behavior you are trying to control everything because you are scared that if you cannot control it it might go out of control and this need of controlling the narrative has been making you stuck in a particular position in the month of may you are being told that you have to let go this need you have to let the universe run its course and whatever is supposed to happen it is going to come to you but you have to start accepting that the universe has their good intentions for you you have to let go the need of control of controlling each and every aspect of your life um other people have the free will they will behave in a particular manner and they will act accordingly because they have the free will to choose things you cannot make anyone work according to you so in future in may especially you have to let go and trust that things are going to work out for you you don't have to worry whether or not uh, if i cannot control each and every nitty gritty will things be good for me or uh, will things go out of control for me no they are not going out of control this anxiety of yours is causing you to behave irrationally and right now that is causing you much more problem so please pay attention towards these tendencies in the month of may okay let's see what is your next what are the next best and high messages for my dear scorpio in the month of may we have possibilities and with two of wands and schizophrenia with two of swords so many indecisiveness uh, you have a indecisive character uh, and that has been happening to you since i guess the starting of 2019 scorpios because there were many planetary positions that were uh, not favorable for you 
but now you are ready to come out of that indecisiveness you are ready to get ahead and you are ready to go with the flow you are ready to accept your emotions you are ready to accept those responsibilities you are ready to bring in the balance you are ready to compromise in certain situations and may is the month when you will start doing this it is going to propel you forward into doing many much better things you are finally going to get your breakthrough you are you have been stuck in this hatred in this limbo for so long that you were losing hopes of whether or not you are going to find an answer whether or not you are going to find the right possibility with which you have to go forward but now that you know what which way you have to take which way is leading you towards a hopeful situation you are going to compromise your need of control and you are going to see beyond illusions and you are going to finally have that breakthrough in the month of may so many good news is are coming for you scorpios uh, a beautiful beautiful journey is about to start for you and i hope this brings a lot of happiness and a lot of abundance because i see that you have been stuck in the situation and once you get out of it you will bloom beautifully once you find the breakthrough you are going to start going with the flow you are going to start enjoying uh the love and the beauty that you already admire before getting stuck in this and you will be ready to give that heart space to the people who actually need it so happy for you my dear scorpios so let's see uh in terms of the health love and career what changes are coming in the month of may in the departments of love health and career what is in store for you my dear scorpios let's see for love we have the fool card which is beautiful career we have page of wands and health we have eight of cups <clears throat> so in terms of love there will be something new some renewal is going to come to the older love relationships of scorpios you've been in a love relationship for too long and the things were getting stale there is a breath of fresh air that is coming towards you in the month of may you are being told to trust in the um in the geometry of life you are being told that it is okay to take a leap of faith it is okay to trust in your partner again if things have not been right things are getting right in the month of may you are going to go through a renewal phase uh with people who have been in relationships uh things are getting better for them singles are being told to wait for a little bit may is the month for self discovery may is the month of knowing what is good and choosing the traits and qualities and people over how they portray themselves so don't be a fool and jump into relationship single people just wait and look at the possibilities and look if the people are being actually true and seeing what they actually mean okay career wise uh, many good news is are coming for my dear scorpio some of you are finally getting a chance to start their own businesses uh, page of wands is a news of uh, change in place so if scorpios you've been looking for a new job in a new city or a change in the position and for that if you have to travel and you had been hoping uh, that would happen it is coming for you in the month of may health wise um, i see many of the scorpios are going to go through a bout of temporary depression and that is because of the energy shifts through eclipse so things might feel uh, out of place you might start feeling numb so you are being told to um, you are advised to do a little meditation a little grounding walk on the grass bare feet and that will help to restore those energies and make you feel a lot better okay so now we have come to the end of the section of scorpios next we are going to see for my sun sign cancer let's see what are your messages my dear cancerians for the month of <clears throat> may 
what are the messages for my dear Cancerians for the month of May? What are the sun? What are the messages for my dear Cancerians for the month of May? Let's see. We have reflection. Wow. Let's see what it talks about. See all aspects of yourself through the reflection of the one who mirrors your hidden self. So, Cancerians, I know you have this innate ability to know what the other person is thinking about. Being water sign, you are adaptable to the situations and things in your life very easily. You have you many of my cancerians are empaths because being a water sign is an actual indication of someone who understands other people's emotions easily and you are being told that in the month of may you are you are going to be tested you're going to be uh, given chances when you think that you need, you'll need to change and when that time comes you have to see how your actions are affecting the other people and that can be done through seeing who reflects your actions. The person, people who are being affected by your actions are the one who can actually advise you about the bad and the good that you do to them. So there, uh, there is a hidden self in everyone. Okay, one that we display to other people and there's this one self or the shadow self that we don't show to other people. And that shadow self can only be seen in the people that we love. And the way they respond to our love is how our shadow self is feeded. So if in May there comes a time when you think that your shadow self is not being you know, healed properly, then you have to look at the people who have been talking to you and through which you are mirroring your shadow self. Those people who are in contact with you and the way they work, the way you, you see your shadow in them, pay attention to them, pay attention to what they're doing and pay attention to what it is trying to tell you in return and that will help you get through May unscatched. Okay, so let's see what is your crystal energy for the month of May, Cancer. What is the crystal energy for my dear Cancerians for the month of May? What is the crystal energy for my dear Cancerians for the month of May? Wow, we have turquoise. This is such a beautiful crystal. I always loved working with turquoise. It gives such a calmness. It brings such calmness to you whenever you're doing it. Uh, working with it, uh, meditating with it or wearing it in your daily life gives you much more calm let's see what your energy is trying to tell you what do you wish to express how do you wish to express yourself is there something you need to say to someone so cancerians you're being told that in the month of may if you need to express something to someone if you need to say something you are in a need to express unless and until you express things the things are not going to come out of you and you're not going to feel better so instead of holding things back you're being advised that expression comes in many forms meditate on what you would like to say and then say it you are being told that yes expression doesn't usually mean just saying things you can write letters you can you know record yourself send a video to someone but expression is important how to express it if you are not understanding you need to sit with yourself express uh, meditate on the ways of expression and work with the uh, turquoise crystal it will give you much more energy that you'll need in the time of expression and you are being also advised to explore native Ameri american spiritual teachings so if you believe in astral traveling or if you believe in fifth dimension, 3D dimensions and uh, conversations in those dimensions then you can start exploring those ideas but I'll advise you do it under a spiritual guru or guidance only don't try to explore it by yourself if you are unsure of that energy okay 
let's see what is your best and next high message sorry best and high next message for the month of may cancerians what is the best and high message for my dear, dear cancerians for the month of may we have love of animals wow so you being told that you have to be harmless cancerians if you draw this card your guidance is to connect with an animal today consider that you are learning from it and maintain an attitude of harmlessness as you telepathically offer your greetings so in the month of may cancerians if you are a dog lover animal lover any kind of animal will do you are being told to connect with the animal spirit or animal in person so that you will learn and enhance your empathetic skills you will improve your skills of telepathically connecting with them and in turn be more harmless learn the skill of communicating without harming anyone and animals will show you the selfless love that you require and that will somewhere fulfill your need to be loved so today whenever you see the video cancerians you are being told to go connect with a beautiful beautiful animal of your choice and try and understand its nature and then accommodate its nature into your daily life beautiful let's see what is your next best and high message what is your best and next sorry cancerians what is your next best and high messages for the month of may we have nature such a beautiful card let's see what it talks about it is time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer your mind body and soul need nourishment energy and revitalization and strength nature has much to offer so take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors uh cancerians i think you've become a little bit of a home body not going outside uh disconnecting yourself from everyone you have been staying at home much more you are not coming in contact with humans uh, or rather you have drastically changed your ways of living so in the month of may you are over and over advised to express yourself because if you are not meeting people you will also not express what you are feeling with them you are being told to connect with the animals you are also being told that nature is the only way where you can re-energize yourself where you can feel at home and your body will absorb that healing energies so you have to go outside connect with nature you can go on hikes you can go start going on walks you can uh, spend some quality time outside and somewhere you also need to have that healing light of sun so if you can go on morning walks and try to be in the morning sun as much as you can because the not being exposed to sun for a certain amount of time can also make your body feel ill because early morning sun rays are very good for your body when they are uh, absorbed by your body skin your skin gets revitalized your blood absorbs nutrients in a better manner so yeah please connect with nature connect with the nature spirit you can keep beautiful flowers in your home uh, on your desks if you're working try to keep sunflowers roses that will also uplift your mood that is such a beautiful advice and the guidance also wow let's see what are the other best and high messages of the changes that are happening with my dear cancerians in the month of may
कैंसेरियंस यू हैव बीन गिल्टी ऑफ सर्टन डिसीजन सिचुएशन एंड पार्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ दैट यू हैव नॉट येट गॉटन ओवर एंड दिस इक्लिप सीजन माइट हैव हाई लाइटेड दोज थिंग्स and especially if uh, the lunar eclipse is happening on the may 5th and 6th and before that also after that there will be a remainder energy of the so- uh, solar and the lunar eclipse season that happened and you might be feeling guilty about your own actions or certain actions that you didn't take in the past so uh, letting that go letting that guilt go is very important if you have to move ahead in your life you have to forgive yourself for whatever things uh, hap- whatever things that you let happen or you let go of and you didn't take decisions or actions during that period because they don't define you right now it was in the past and whatever happened in the past is in the past so let that go there is a type of celebration that is coming in may so you might be celebrating some personal uh, uh, there might be parties birthdays celebrations or in family that are going to take place and you are going to enjoy and participate in the celebrations and some of my cancerians are going to find that last missing piece you are finally going to find that answer which are, which is going to make you feel completed and uh, cancerians you have been feeling this jittery sense of incompleteness since 2021 that is the energy i'm getting many of my cancerians have been feeling stuck in their life maybe because of the pandemic happening worldwide also on the personal level you always thought that you are missing a piece of you a vital part of you had been missing this can be a situation person individual or any kind of thing that has been missing and it made you feel half not half but there was something a vital piece of you that was missing and finally you're going to get that back in the month of may you're going to integrate it together with yourself for many of you this can be a reunion or a union with a partner or marriage that can happen some of you might also get engaged or find that soulmate in your life uh may can be a little more stressful for you because there might be politics in the way of your career things might not uh, go according to the way you want and some people might try to be nice to you uh but they have bad intentions and you're going to come face to face with these people and understand their intentions in the one go also you are finally understanding these intentions of the people and you're letting go of it you're finding your courage to work without them you are ready to move past certain individuals who don't have good intentions or good karma towards you and you are breaking free of that bond you are letting go of the people that are wasting your energy and are causing you to doubt yourself so finally you are ready to let go of these people such such progress beautiful progress my dear cancerians i am so happy for you let's see what is the next message now we are going to take a card for your career love and health so that we can wrap this up let's see what is the card for your career we have the tower some catalyst moves are happening for my dear cancerians major changes are coming in terms of careers in love you have the 7 of cups and in health we have the 6 of wands so health wise uh, everything is going to be absolutely beautiful for my dear cancerians you are going to be in good health but again the advice with 6 of wands is that you have to keep your health in the limelight and start working out start being the center of attention start taking yourself out of your home in the nature where everyone you can meet everyone you can get the needed nutrients of the nature you get enough sunlight you are also advised that you can hike in the nature which will beautifully help you to gain good health 
with the tower card in the career department you're being told that a major change is coming in terms of your career this can be a change in career paths or an old career is ending and you're choosing to go into a new career for some of you a major un unexpected hike or influx of income is seen in the month of may uh some of my cancerians are finally making the choice of who they want to spend their life with in terms of relationships and other individuals who have been in a relationship are making a choice about how to move forward with this relationship how to take the steps towards making this relationship more permanent and for couples you might be deciding where to finally situate your houses because there is a moving of house energy that i'm seeing so cancerians if you're married and thinking of making a move in the month of may that thing seems to be finalizing or fruiting up for you all so that is the reading for my dear cancerians let's move ahead with my pisces uh community okay Hi Pisces, so welcome to your monthly reading for the month of May. Let's see how your May month is going to go. So first we are going to take some star seed messages that will help us understand how your month of May is going to go. Okay, let's see what is your first message my dear Pisces. What is the first May a message for my dear Pisces for the month of May? we have guidance let's see what it talks about you are not alone you are guided by masters and teachers of the highest realm so in the month of may pisces if you feel that you are alone you're not understanding where you're going what is happening in your life why things are being the way they are you are being told that you're not alone you are always guided by your uh masters and teachers and spiritual gurus from your higher realm you just have to ask them to show a sign and once they show a sign you will understand that they are always with you you're not alone that is such a beautiful sign let's see what else what is the crystal energy for my dear pisces for the month of okay pisces is very very excited I think so. Let's see what is your energy for the month of May. We have how light as your crystal for the month of May. Let's see what it talks about. Are you drinking enough water? Are you taking time to take a bath or go for swim? So this is uh, this energy, the how light is the uh, crystal for purification. it is also the crystal that uh, advises you it is telling you that water purifies your mind and body hydrate yourself inside and out to maintain fluidity at all the time levels of consciousness De detoxify your body mind and emotions so in the month of may uh pisces you are going to need a lot of detoxic detoxification of your body because there might be certain circumstances where you will be challenged where you will be asked uh about your opinions or your opinions might be deflected and at that times if you are not cleansed if your body is not purified if your mind is not purified there might be circumstances when things might not go your way Okay so you are being told to hydrate yourself because hydration is required for your body to stay in a vital state and plus go for swims it will also help you to keep your body healthy uh, because some of my pisces are not being health conscious they are being loose with not sleeping on time they are not paying good attention about how their health is being affected no sleep patterns no uh, hydrating themselves no good food so please start taking care of yourself and may is a very important month for you to start doing that for your own spiritual and mental health health is basically highlighted in the month of may so please pay attention to it 
let's see what is your next best and high messages what are the next best and high messages for my dear Pisces for the month of May we have fun wow you're being told to have fun Pisces Pisces this card suggests that you build leisure time into your life plan to have fun and do things that enable you to relax and laugh socialize with people who are happy and interesting at the same time look at your challenges from a high perspective so you are being told that in may you need to you know schedule a special time aside for just having fun you have been stuck in a rut for last two three months or maybe more than that you are being told you have to set aside a little time for especially having fun you have to set it aside for your mental well-being meet certain people who are out of your ordinary life meet them share your ideas discuss interesting things and that will help you be in a better mental state and in may your mental and um, emotional health is very much highlighted throughout the cards so get the guidance be hydrate yourself and take out the time to play and have leisure let's see so far pisces is going to have a very very beautiful me i think let's see what is your next best and high message what is the next best and high message for my dear pisces we have vulnerability look at this beautiful card let's see what it talks about this is a confrontation that you're seeking to tread into an unknown unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality don't let your fear hold back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition so uh, some of my pisces might be taking a decision not based on the facts but intuitions in the month of may this can be in regarding your career family a uh, person that you like or any situation and you feeling that i don't have enough evidence or i don't have enough facts about the situation but your intuition is guiding you to <clears throat> make that decision anyway so if that is the case uh, the divine your angels and everyone around you the universe is trying to tell you that it is okay to trust your intuition it it is okay to be vulnerable it is okay to not know what is happening you should not always you know uh worry if you don't have 100% of the facts as you want them but it is okay if you don't have them you can trust your gut and move ahead and somewhere you have to also accept that being vulnerable is not a negative trait vulnerability is a sign of learning it is a sign that you don't know anything and there is still something that you can learn out of the situation if you trust uh, trust your gut and that situation turns good you are learning that's a learning experience a learning curve is only possible if you be vulnerable so it is not a negative trait it is a positive trait in terms of learning and gaining knowledge so being vulnerable is absolutely okay and that is what you're being told okay let's see what is the be next best and high message how the may month is going to turn for my dear pisces we have the ace of wands with the source energy what else what other messages do we have for my dear pisces we have oh we have the page of wands with playfulness we have the eight of wands with traveling the four of pentacles with the miser we have the ace of swords with the consciousness so the first and the last card we have the aces that this is a very very vital month for you my dear uh, pisces you are going to have a new beginning in terms of physicality and also in terms of consciousness you are going to gain a lot of clarity about how your life is going to be post may you're going to plan your life accordingly and you're going to take actions about it you're going to finally 
find your playful side as you're also being advised to have fun and playfulness is good playfulness about things is good you don't always have to be serious you don't always have to be stuck in a particular energy you can just check out the field uh, especially singles if you are ready to explore the field it is okay not knowing how the other person is you can just go meet the other person and have a little fun having a little fun is always advised and you can always have fun in May, you're going to get the opportunities to have fun, my dear Pisces. Uh, Eight of Wands, uh, there might be many traveling plans that are going to happen in the month of May and which are also going to go through. And yes, playfulness, fun and plans of traveling are really, really important. If some of the communications between you and your friends have not been happening for a lot of time, so those uh, communications are also restated in the month of May. Spices. Uh, please pay attention to the amount of money that you spend. There is a possibility that you tend, will tend to overspend with traveling and other things. So budgets might move a little bit. Uh, so please pay um, attention in terms of spending. And also a lot of you might think because of this eclipse energy that there is nothing that is changing in my life. But post eclipse there is a lot of clarity that you will be having in terms of how my life is going where my life is going and how hopeful i can be about the changes in my life so in the last segment let's see about your love career and health how it is going to be in the month of may in terms of love we have the six of cups in terms of health, we have the Eight of Cups. And in terms of work, we have the Justice. <clears throat> so career-wise, if a Pisces, you thought you were not justified, you were not given the enough uh, credibility or enough uh, money in exchange of your work, you're finally going to find that balance coming back. You'll be recognized for your work patterns. You'll be recognized for how well you do in your career department. Many of you will be promoted, some of you will get hikes and other of you uh, who have been waiting to showcase their uh, talents and ideas will get a chance to uh, showcase their talents and ideas. In terms of love, there is a reconciliation happening in terms of uh, relationships you may, both might have been in contact but not in good terms so you finally are coming back in good terms spices with your ex-partner or partners you have been in separation with many of you uh, are living a dream may month is going to be a very dreamy month for my dear Pisces some of you are also buying pets as an inclusion to their family uh, this might be your childhood dream, but it was never appreciated. But now, yes, many married or uh, couples, not couples, but couple of you are including pet as your family members in the month of May and you're coming to that decision. Uh, people who have been married are also planning to have children. And if that was the plan in the month of May, there's a possibility that you both might start thinking in terms of children. Health-wise, uh, Pisces, you are being advised to have walk in the gardens uh, because some of you might suffer from backaches and pain in the feet. So if that is the case, get, get yourself checked and also try to connect with Mother Nature because a lot of negative energy might affect you in May a month and that is going to get, uh, you know, that is going to be seen in the forms of pains in the joint, back pain and sore legs. So please, you are advised to have grounding sessions, walk in the park without your shoes on and have as much of time for yourself as you can. Meditate a little bit. Okay, so this is the reading for my dear Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And if you like my reading, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. And I'll be providing you the link for my Instagram in the description below. 
So please follow me there.